What is up everybody, welcome back to our video. Hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. If you're new, please make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. It really, really helps out the videos. Um, so I gotta do this quick little food review because I have about 10 minutes left on my break. So I figured I would do this doing a food review. My camera keeps moving, so I apologize for that. But um, we're doing a Mountain Dew review and, I'm, and you guys are also probably wondering where I've been for a week. Um, yeah, let me explain that in a minute. Uh, but first, let's get into this food review. Mountain Dew Citrus Cherry. Okay, this is Game Fuel. Is this for the uh, new Call of Duty? Or is this... No, Halo Infinite. Okay, for Xbox. I don't play video games, so I apologize about, about all that. Anyways, um, typical of Mountain Dew. Lots of sugar. Uh, 290 calories in the whole bottle. Um, but Mountain Dew is probably what's going to get me running for work i actually took my break early they said go take it at seven and i took it at 6 45 um but anyways let's get right into this it smells very good why does it smell like a christmas tree what the hell maybe i'm tripping out but anyways let's get right into this review mm. this is good It has a typical Mountain Dew taste. This is literally just Code Red Mountain Dew. This is like... Code Red Mountain Dew is actually kind of rare. You, you can't find it everywhere. Like, I know ShopRite doesn't have it. At least in the mini bottles. Um, some gas stations have Code Red Mountain Dew. Others don't. But when you can find it, it is so good. But um, this is just... They just marketed this with Xbox so they could make money. I mean, this is the same thing as a freaking Code Red Mountain Dew to me. But anyways, so you're probably wondering where I have been for a week. Well, let me explain. So first off, I started my new job, ShopRite, right here. Um... Unfortunately, I'm bagging right now. I originally wanted to be a cashier, but they're saying that the first few months that I'm working here, they want to have me as a bagger so I can kind of get a feel for the job, um, which I think is ridiculous because I want to be a cashier, but cashier is actually more complicated than you think. Although you could probably, it probably takes about a week to be fully trained to be a cashier, so I don't know why they want me bagging, but whatever. Maybe it's because I'm 16, but um yeah between work and school i just i really haven't found i didn't find the time to really upload um nor did i really want to i mean i was you know it was like the start of my job you know the first few days actually yesterday was the first day i didn't really panic when i was on the job um because it's around thanksgiving actually thanksgiving tomorrow um the store is just packed today is pretty busy too but this weekend it was a zoo and when there's just so many people you see eight people um at your cash register and you have to bag all these people you panic like i start to get into this like rushing type of feeling so i just rush 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 and um you know sometimes i stuff just throw things in the bag but yesterday i did really really well like i wasn't stressing out like i did before um this is my fifth day working i think maybe my sixth but um so far pretty much all my coworkers are pretty good to work with um there's a manager there uh she like here she likes to pick fights with everyone but i'm not gonna say any names because i don't want to get fired um but and then my supervisor she's not mean but she just scares me a little bit everybody says you got to watch out for her you know what i mean like i would only go to her if i really really need to you know what i mean um but anyways i'm really looking forward to thanksgiving this year uh i actually did like half of the cooking today i actually skipped school today so i could uh, cook a lot i made an apple pie today some candy gams and some mac and cheese i'm gonna help my dad to, uh, tomorrow with the turkey and some instead of mashed potatoes this year i'm gonna try scallop potatoes scallop potatoes uh, require a little more technique so i'm super excited about those uh but anyways there's nothing really terrible about the job it's not i don't hate it you know what i mean i don't love it uh, I think, you know, but just everything comes with time. You know what I mean? I can't say that, like, just on my first few days in, I can't say that I hate the job. Because, you know, you just start, right? Um, and then they have, like, this whole nice break area outside. It actually just rained. and uh, But today it's not too cold. Yesterday it was freezing. And uh, no one was able to pick me up. So I had to walk home. It's like a 15-minute walk from my house. So it's not too bad. But it was also raining that night, too. And, uh, 
But it didn't rain. No, it didn't rain today. It rained yesterday, but this area is still a little bit wet because it rained a lot yesterday. Um, as, as some of you guys know, I used to work in a restaurant last spring. I worked in a restaurant for a month and a half. That was my first job. And unfortunately, I did get fired from that job. But I actually happened to like that job a little bit more. Even though it was harder than bagging and stuff like that, cooking and restaurants are my passion. So that's what I felt like, you know, that's what I really enjoyed. Um, but here, it's easy money. I'm getting paid fourteen fifty an hour. When I got my first paycheck, I saw $80. And I had been working for like four days. And I was like, what? There's no way this is right. I work four-hour shifts, though. I get off today at 9 I work, I'm working five to nine today, so I'm dealing with all the, like the last minute shoppers and stuff like that. Um, so far, every, all the cashiers are pretty friendly um, at this job. Um, I haven't really dealt with any really nasty customers, which is good. I mean, I've dealt with some people who I thought kind of had an attitude, but you know that's normal. Um, One thing that happened today, though, was one of, uh, not, not really a friend of mine, but more of an acquaintance, he came into the store, and it was with his family, right? And his family, and I know he was embarrassed by this, too, his his family was giving me such, me and my, my cashier, such a hard time. I know, I know he was embarrassed. I had to return six waters. They, yeah, they bought six Poland Spring cases. Yeah, I had to return six of those. Um and actually this might have been the first or second day i had the job but i saw a cockroach in someone's bag when i was bagging in new jersey we don't give out plastic bags we don't even give out paper anymore which is crazy but um i didn't know what to do you know like i tried to smush it with a can but like because i didn't know if it came from the store or from this person and i didn't know what to do so i just decided to so i just decided to leave it i didn't want to tell anyone so I didn't want to freak out everyone and have the whole store shut down, but roaches are everywhere. I hate to say this, but at the last restaurant I worked at, and this was a really nice restaurant too. Not like really, really nice, but they had good food. It was very, very clean establishment. There were roaches that would come up every once in a while. <laughs> it, it just, it comes with the territory, man. I mean, if, if you're in a place with a lot of food, there's going to be roaches, unfortunately. Um, anyways, I uh, have about just like a couple more minutes probably have about five more minutes on my break so i gotta head back in i wonder if i can get through this way because i came out the entrance so i'm wondering if i can go back here this this leads to the back of the store maybe i'll be able to but we'll see anyways um yeah another reason why i just really wasn't posting is because i was trying to get you know um the ropes of this job uh, i also had a lot of tests as well um some people were um some kid was bothering me in school so you know i just had to just take a break from social media i figured it would only be a week and then i know that like once thanksgiving comes around i'll be able to make more content for you guys so that's exactly what i'm doing so make sure to like subscribe and uh god bless all you guys i'll see you in the next video